Hi friends, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough on Azure Cross Regional Load Balancer in two minutes. So there are plenty of uh, load balancer options on the Azure. You might have already heard about Azure Friend Door, Traffic Manager, Azure Load Balancer, and Azure Application Gateway. There are different purposes for each of these load balancers. If you take Azure Friend Door, Friend Door works at the layer seven, which is uh, with HTTP and HTTPS by splitting the TCP uh, and Microsoft's global network for improving global connectivity. Whereas Traffic Manager is at the DNS level, uh, in the DNS routing it works. Uh, then Azure Load Balancer works at the layer four, which is TCP IP protocol. So Application Gateway, once again, it, it works on the layer seven, just to get quick idea about what are this, how that works. So here, this particular architecture will explain you where the Application Gateway is located. And then the load balancer is actually on the top of VMs and the HTTP traffic which is coming that is on the application gateway. Then friend door is here as we already discussed this is going to work on the layer 7. Whereas traffic manager can be configured on the DNS level here. right? So these are the different load balancers are already available. Then what is the need of the cross regional load balancer? If you see here the load balancer is actually in the particular region. Now assume that you have multiple regions with all the VMs and we have load balancers configured within those regions. Now I have to have one load balancer globally because these are all available in the different regions. Now the current options like friend door, application gateway or traffic manager doesn't help you in that mode. If you want to get a load balancer in the global level in the TCP IP then this is the new option. Microsoft is providing that is a cross regional load balancer uh, which provides you the TCP IP level load balancing between the cross regions. So I have region A, region B, region C and now each region has its own load balancer on the port number 80 whereas there is another TCP port with the 50,000 which is configured by the cross region load balancer. It will help you to fail over immediately. For example, if the region B is not available, immediately, immediately it will fail over to the other region. So all the in incoming traffic originating from the multiple regions, instant global failure to the next optimal region deployment. So you may ask like even traffic manager or friend door are kind of working the same way, but they don't work on the TCP IP, which is a layer four. So cross region load balancer will work above the regional load balancers. So that is the main advantage with the cross-region load balancer which is in the preview. Thanks for watching my videos.